Hey Morphe babes, it's Lipstick Nick reporting to you from Pout Beauty Bar right here in North Hollywood. I know we're all quarantined and it's been kind of difficult, but really wanted to bring you more of a Morphe at home kind of vibe. So I'm very excited to dive in and show you guys this look using the new Pride collection called Free To Be. This collection is so important to us because we got to partner up with Glisten. Now, if you guys don't know what Glisten is, Glisten is an organization that helps to create a safe and affirming space for K through 12 students of the LGBTQ plus community. I'm super inspired by this watercolor rainbow palette. So I did play around at first on one of my eyes just to kind of get a feel for what I was gonna do. And then on the other eye, I walk you guys through all the steps. So if you wanna see me play with this palette and create this rainbow eye, then keep on watching. So the first color I took was Accept Everyone and it's this really beautiful purple with the blue reflect. And I kind of just, you can see, I like kind of packed it into this like V shape on the outer corner on the top and the bottom. And I'm using my finger for this color because I feel like it really gives you the most payoff. But I will take a brush just to blend out. Just want to get a nice seamless blend. Pretty. Kyla, I think that's my favorite color in the palette. We're going to add glitter on top of that after too. Okay, so next, what did I do? I used the orange, which is called Blaze a Trail. This color's really, really pretty. And that's gonna go directly next to the purple. Again, using my finger, you can see how high shine this is. Looks like little, little diamonds, little crushed diamonds. Go back in with that brush just to help blend. Next up, we have Shine Hope, which is a very shimmery yellow with a little bit of an orange fleck in it. And that's gonna go right here next to the orange. Again, with their finger. I like to use my middle finger. A lot of people will use the, their ring finger. Okay, now this inner corner color, I had to use a brush because my finger is a little too big to like get right up in there. So I am gonna use this brush from the Pride Collection. It's like a little flat packer paw, which you guys know I love my packer paws. So I'm gonna use Inspire Change, and it's this baby blue color. And I'm gonna wrap that all in this inner corner. And then as I creep down under here, I'm gonna start to wrap it on this bottom part, but then I'm gonna stop because I definitely wanna plug in this little pink color down there too. And the good thing about this brush is that it is flat, but it's a little bit fluffy at the same time. So if I just wipe off whatever excess product I have, I can go and blend out the outer corners. So it just leaves like a really seamless, kind of burst of that baby blue. I'm gonna use Keep It Kind. It's like a really soft baby pink. And this is gonna go right next to the blue on the bottom. And it kind of connects with the purple on the outside. I also love that last year we went more like bright, bright rainbow. And this year we went more of like this soft kind of watercolor rainbow. Very timeless, very ageless. Okay, we got our shadows down, and now I'm gonna add all the glitter, which is my favorite part. Um, in this palette, we do have five pressed glitters, and they're so easy to use. If you've ever used our pressed glitters formula before, you know that they just stick right on. You don't need any sort of glitter glue or anything like that, so it's like no mess. So I'm gonna start, I think I used four different glitters. So first one I'm gonna use is over the purple. I did this blue one, and I liked how I kind of took it out more into this little cat shape. So we'll do that same thing over here, keep that same energy. I'm gonna use Be A Visionary, that's the shade name, and it's so beautiful. It actually looks more blue in the pan, but when you put it on, it is more of that like iridescent kind of sheer glitter. Oh, can you believe that? Like, Okay, so we're gonna keep it moving across the eyelid that way. So right on top of the orange color, I'm actually gonna use Love Yourself, which is a pink with an orange fleck in it. So just a little bit of this, just to bring back in that kind of reddish orange vibe. It's like a sheer glitter rainbow over the shadow rainbow. I did use this green color called Live Your Life because there wasn't any green in here and green is my favorite color. So it is a very true, true lime green glitter. And I'm gonna place this right in between the blue and the yellow as a little transition color. Like how easy, it's so easy. 
So the last color I'm gonna use is called Dream Big, and this is like the truest holographic glitter. It's a silver with a little bit of a rainbow fleck in there. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Maybe I'll get closer. Can it, it won't, it won't pick it up? <laughs> okay, cool, thanks John. We're doing it at home, people. We're doing it at home. <laughs> Leave this in. So I am gonna take a little bit more just on the point of my finger, and I packed this right under here in between the blue and the pink. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here just layering it slightly. So it's just like kind of a cool little transition. When I think of glitter, I think of holographic glitter. So this to me is like the epitome of a glitter shadow. I'm gonna finish this look with a gloss that is also a part of the Pride Collection called Speak Out. So beautiful. It looks like clear iridescent in here, but when it goes on, it's actually a lot more like of a lavender tint to it. So let me show you guys what I mean. Oh. <gasps> Oh, wow. This is gonna accent my tooth gem nicely. You see what I mean? It kind of looks like this like lavender kind of vibe once it's on. You get all that shimmer, all that shine, all those little glitter flecks, and you don't need anything underneath it too. Although it does look pretty on top of like nude lipsticks, purple, pink. I've tried it over a few different ones, but I kind of prefer it just on its own. I feel like it looks really glossy. I'm feeling very proud. All right, so next I'm gonna be using this exclusive setting spray that was also in this Pride collection. It looks the same, same bottle, but it does have a new deco with the rainbow as the Morphe logo. And the scent to this is actually spun sugar, which the scent is like candy. It's so delicious. So I'm just gonna set my entire face with this. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, very dewy, very glowy. And I take my sponge, just kind of set some things. Tap out a little bit of that setting spray. Glowing, we're glowing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know this is a different style for us, this like quarantining tutorial style, but I had so much fun playing with this palette. And again, if you guys wanna purchase this, 100% of the proceeds go towards Glisten. So if you want a way to support it, this is a great way and you get a beautiful collection out of it. So make sure you guys like and subscribe this video, leave some love down below, and I will see you next time. Bye. Intro. Should we remove the mic or no? Is it fine? Uh, no, it's recording your audio. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that in there. <laughs> I'm getting used to this whole new style. Okay. Check, one, two, one, two.